find out how to build a wall like this in this video. Hey guys, uh, Ben from BM Formwork here. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to build a wall. It's not very big, it's very small. Okay, first I'm gonna put my kicker down at the bottom timber. Fix these down, we use a 6.5 mil masonry bit. And then the tech screw and wire. As you screw in, the wire wraps around and widens. Uh, this is how I put my horizontal timbers on. So I just put a little packer on. Show you one. Move it on. Put a timber on top. And then we just nail gun it off. Top timber goes half on. We've worked out our bolt holes and spaced them out based on 900 vertically and 1100 wide. Now that we have them, we can put our soldiers in, in the right spots. We've managed to put on all of our timbers, put on our soldiers. We've put on some braces got it all plumb. We've just got a nail on our last sheet, put our stop ends on and it's ready for steel. I'm gonna make, put together the stop end. Stop end is the end piece of the wall. So these walls are 190 wide, stop end's 190 wide. Nailing in with 16 gauge nail, about every 450. Always leave my timbers up so that if there's any crap on the ground, when I stand this, there's less surface area that can be interfered with. Here in Australia, all corners get this chamfer. I don't know if you can see that there. Straight, most of it's done. Let's nail this last sheet off. That's the steel fix is halfway through that, putting the reinforcement in. By the way, this is how the column turned out in the last video. These are the bolts we use, call them tie rods. They're a 16 mil threaded bar with a nut and a plate. So the high tensile steel. And this is how we do the conduits. So we have a cone, we put them onto a conduit. Okay. And so say the wall's 200 mil, which these ones are, I cut this two or three mil bigger, so 202, and we tighten up these bolts. This squishes in a little bit. The cone will actually mushroom a touch and you get a really nice tight bond. You don't want the conduit to leak because the bolt will get cased in concrete. It won't come out. But also we want to see when it's stripped, we want to see a nice, neat cone shape. Today we're back and we're going to finish off this wall. I'm going to start off by putting my conduits in.
These outside bolts are outside the concrete, so they don't need conduits or spaces that'll space it. Whenever possible, put your bolts outside of the concrete so you don't have to do all the stuffing around. So you saw how easy that was, no stress at all. Now I'm just gonna put all my timbers on. So I'll just skew nail them from the back with a nail gun. Finish my wall. Take you for a tour. So to finish it off, we just tightened up all of our bolts. We put lots of tech screws in the bottom section of our stop ends. The wall is completely braced and plumb. And um, you should be able to see the tech screws, and they're not all the way up. Um, the other thing we had to do is because one stop end is nailed into the sheet, that sheet, the other stop end is nailed into a separate sheet. What could happen is it could spread as the pressure hits that end, pressure hits that end, it could pull these sheets apart. So what I did was put extra screws in the timber to stop that from happening. Thanks for watching my video, I'll have more coming up soon.